Hello guys, welcome to the English lesson 5 under structure and we are still looking at the topic e, understanding the eight parts of speech. So in today's lesson we'll be looking at the part 5 which is on adverbs. So we need to understand what adverbs are. Uh, all right. So adverbs are uh, defined as follows. So here we are saying adverbs are words that give us more information about verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs in a sentence. Yeah. So these adverbs, they give us more information about it. verbs, adjectives, or other verbs in a sentence. Okay. So you will see very soon what this means. Okay, so we are saying adverbs can um, modify verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. So to modify is uh, maybe to make more meaning, to add more meaning. So that's what it means by modifying. So adverbs can modify verbs, adjectives, and other verbs. So adverbs answer questions such as the how, when, where, why to what extent or under what condition yeah so this is what adverbs do when they're in sentences they do answer such questions such as how when where why to what extent or under what condition so for example in the sentence she sings beautifully the adverb beautifully this word she sings beautifully the adverb beautifully modifies the verb sings and it tells us see how she sings okay so you know the verb is sings but then we add the other word beautifully so now it has modified this uh, sing so like she sings now you add beautifully so the whole sentence now changes she sings beautifully so the adverb beautifully uh, modifies the verb sings and tells us how she sings okay so it has answered the question how when you say she sings beautifully it's like how does she sing then you say she sings beautifully okay i hope this is making sense so let's proceed so in the sentence he is very smart the adverb very modifies the adjective smart and tells us to what extent he is smart. Okay. So here in this uh, sentence, he is very smart. Here very becomes the adjective, I mean the adverb, and because it modifies the adjective, which is smart, like it tells us to what extent this person is his smart smartness is so it is it is telling us that he is very smart so it's like you're asking someone how smart is this guy ah? then he said ah actually he is very smart okay so it is telling you the extent to which um uh, this smartness of this guy is all right so in the sentence she runs extremely fast okay she runs extremely fast you see so the adverb extremely modifies the other adverb fast and it tells us see how fast she runs okay so in this sentence she runs runs is a, a run here is a verb and then fast is a is an adverb it is telling us how fast this person runs but then there's another word extremely Okay, so this means now that um, this extremely is an adverb that is modifying again the other adverb, which is fast. Okay, so in the sentence, she runs extremely fast. The adverb extremely modifies the other adverb fast and it tells us how fast uh, she runs. So, yeah, it's the same way like a person asks how fast does he run then you add here she runs okay like how fast does she run then you add she runs extremely fast okay so let's move on. 
So adverbs have different functions depending on what they modify and what question they answer here. So these adverbs in question have different functions depending on what they modify and what questions they answer. So here are some common types of adverbs and examples. Yeah. So let's look at the number one. We have what we call adverbs of manner. Okay. So adverbs of manner. So these adverbs tells us or tell us how something is done or happens. Okay. So adverbs of manner tells us how something is done or happens. Okay. So they usually come after the verb or the object of the verb. Yeah. So like in a sentence, these adverb of manner, they usually come after the verb or the object of the verb. So we are saying they often end in uh, ly, but not always. Okay. That's what we should know. So what they do is they tell us how something is or happens. So they usually come after the verb or the object of the verb. So they often end in L, Y, but not always. So examples. So we have like number one, he speaks loudly. You see, he speaks loudly. So it's like when he speaks loudly, it's like we are answering the question how something is done, like how the speaking is done, then you answer like he speaks loudly. How does he speak? He speaks loudly, okay? Yeah, so this loudly here becomes the adverb of manner, the manner he speaks someone, okay? Then number two, she writes neatly, okay? So she writes neatly, you see? They're ending with it. Why? And they are coming after the verb. So the verb in this sentence is speak. Then loudly is coming after the word speak. And then it is ending with why. Okay. So he speaks loudly. Then here she writes neatly. So it is answering how the writing is done. Then it is saying she writes neatly. Then number three, they work hard. They work hard. Hard. So this one does not end with ly, but at, uh, all the same, it is answering like the question, how do they work? Then the answer is like, they work hard. So this word hard is an adverb of manner. It is telling us the manner in which they work. Then number four, he drives carefully. He drives carefully. Okay. So it is also telling us um the manner of driving so this carefully here is actually the adverb of manner okay so if you are enjoying this video guys consider giving it a like because it will help youtube uh, notice that this video actually has got a variable information those likes are very important and also let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing to the dms online school yeah so let's proceed so the other uh, type of adverb is what we call adverbs of time so we have adverb of time so what do they do so we are saying these adverbs tell us when something happens or for how long something lasts okay so these will tell us when something happens or how long something lasts okay they can come at the beginning middle or end of a sentence so these they don't matter where they are placed these adverbs of time they can be at the beginning of a sentence at the middle of the sentence or even the end of a sentence so let's look at examples here so example number one it says he arrived yesterday he arrived yesterday so since these are adverbs of time so the word yesterday is an adverb of time it is telling us when something happened like the arriving when did this person arrive so he arrived yesterday okay 
So number two, she studies every day. She studies every day. So here in this sentence, every day is the adverb of time because every day is telling us like uh, when something happens, like when the studies happens or when she studies, then this one is saying she studies every day. Okay. Then number three, they have been waiting for an hour. They have been waiting for an hour. Okay. So hour here becomes the adverb of time because it is telling us how long they have been waiting or the waiting has been lasting. So then it is saying they have been waiting for an hour. Okay. So number four here it is saying um, soon we will go home. Soon we will go home. Okay. So the word soon here it is an adverb of time. Why? Because it is telling us when going home is going to happen. So it is going to happen soon. All right. It's like you are at some place, then you want to go home. You see, you are not happy being where you are. Then you're like, when are we going to go home? Oh, then it says soon we will go home. So the last thing of when you are going to go home is not going to last longer. Soon you, we are going home. Okay. So next we look at adverbs of place. Adverbs of place. So what are adverb of place or what do they do this adverb of place? So we are saying these adverbs tells us or tell us where something happens or in what direction something moves, okay? So these adverb, uh, adverbs of place will tell us uh, where something happens or in what direction something moves, okay? So they usually come after the verb or the object of the verb. So they usually come after the verb or object of the verb. So the way the main point is these adverbs of place come after the verb or uh, the object of the verb. So like examples here, number one, she lives nearby. So you see, here we are dealing with the place. They are telling us where something happens. So like where she lives, okay, like the living, where does it uh, where is the living of she? So it is telling us that nearby. So nearby here is adverb of place. It is telling us the place where she lives like it is nearby. Then number two, we run upstairs. We run upstairs. So now here upstairs is the adverb of place because it is telling us where the direction they run to. It was upstairs, like they were going up. Okay, so then number three, they moved abroad. They moved abroad. So abroad here becomes adverb of place because it is telling us where they moved. Okay, the direction it was actually abroad. Then number four, she looked around. She looked around. So this word around is an adverb of place because it is telling us where the direction where she looked so it was around okay then next we look at adverbs of frequency okay so adverbs of frequency what do they do so we are saying these adverbs tells us how often something happens or is done how often something happens or is it done so our adverbs of frequency will tell us how often something happens or is done. So they usually come before the main verb except for the verb to be so. The point here is adverbs of frequency come before the main verb usually. So when we use the word usually, it also means not always. There are certain cases where these adverbs of frequency would come after the verb. But usually uh, they come before the many verb, except for the verb to be. So examples, he always brushes his teeth. You see? So 
since we are talking of adverbs of frequency which tells us how often something happens or is done then this word always here becomes the adverb of frequency so it is telling us like how often the brushing is done then he's saying he always brushes his teeth okay he always brushes his teeth meaning this person always does the brushing of the teeth yeah the number two she is never late for school she is never late for school so in this case the word never here becomes the adverb of frequency like it is telling us how often is she late then it's saying never she is never late for school okay then number three they sometimes play soccer they sometimes play soccer so the word sometimes here becomes the adverb of a frequency it is telling us how often do they play soccer these guys all right then they tell you that they sometimes play soccer so you see so the word sometimes here becomes the adverb of frequency and once more guys if you're enjoying this video please consider giving it a, right, a like and let me know in the comment section because it encourages me to do even more that what i'm offering to you is actually uh important for you all right if you haven't subscribed to the channel for more please consider clicking on the red subscribe button below and turn on the bell notification so that whenever i post new videos like this youtube will be able to notify you and for those interested in english lessons please the line to contact me is to contact me on is on 977-9241-75 so online lessons for english are going at 60 quacha only so it's very important that you spend that 60 kwacha for knowledge because knowledge lasts forever but the 60 kwacha can be spent in no time all right so let's proceed to the next example i rarely watch tv i rarely watch tv so the word rarely here is an adverb of frequency because it is telling us how the watch how often the watching is done so it is saying i rarely watch tv all right so let's move to another adverb which is adverbs of degree adverb of degree so what do adverb of degree do so here we are saying these adverbs tells us how much or to what extent something is done or happens okay so these now are telling us see how much or to what extent something is done so here the points are that this tells us how much you see or to what extent something is done or happens so there are three things are here like how much or to what extent something is done or happens two things all right so they usually come before the word they modify except for some adverbs that end in ly which can come after the word they modify yeah so the point is is that these adverbs of degree which tells us how much or to what extent something is done or happen they usually the word usually so it's not always they usually come before the word they modify except for some adverbs that end in ly so those adverbs which end in uh, L-O-I uh, can come after the word they modify. So examples here. He is very hungry. He is very hungry. So the word very here is an adverb of a degree because it is telling us the extent, okay, or how much someone is hungry or to what extent the hunger is. Then it is like he is very hungry it's like your friend comes and then he asks for some food he says i'm hungry then you ask hmm, how hungry is he then another one says mm, he is very hungry okay he is very hungry so this very becomes the uh, this word very becomes the adverb of degree it is telling us the extent to which the hunger is 
uh, to, to on this person. Then number two, she runs quite fast. She runs quite fast. So you see, this word um quite here, or oh, I mean, uh this word yeah, she runs quite fast. So this word quite here, it is actually um adverb of degree. It is telling us uh, like the running. To what extent does he run quite fast? Okay, so like in this case, it is coming after the verb run. Okay, so like they usually come before the word they modify, but here it has come after the word run. Okay, so even okay, so this one I think it is the um, modifying this word fast. Yeah. So how fast does she run? Yeah. So it is uh, modifying two things here. Actually, the, the actual adverb here is uh, uh, quiet. It is the adverb of a degree. So it is telling us the degree to which the fastness is. Uh, she does the running. Um, then it is, saying, it is saying quite fast. Okay. Then number three, they are too noise. They are too noise. So the word to here is an adverb of degree. It is telling us how much they are noise or to, to what, what extent their noise is. Then it is telling us to noise. Okay. So the word to is an adverb of degree, which is telling us how much noise they are. Okay. Then number four, he works hardly at all. He works hardly at all. So the word hardly here is an adverb of degree, which is telling us how much this person works. And it is saying that um, he works hardly at Oh, okay. So we move. Adverbs of certain. Okay. Adverbs of certain. Okay. So what do adverb of certain do? So here we are saying these adverbs tells us how sure or certain we are about something. So this will tell us uh, how sure or certain we are about something. Yeah, like you are on the station, then you say, mm, the bus is about to come. Then someone is asking you to, to actually affirm how sure you are that the bus is coming. So you are supposed to use the adverbs of certainty to show how sure uh, you are about the bus coming. So these adverbs tells us how sure or certain we are about it. something. So they usually come before the main verb, except for the verb to be. So examples there here, he will definitely pass the exam. Okay, he will definitely pass the exam. So the word definitely here is adverb of certain, because it is telling us how sure this person is about it him passing the exam then he's saying he will definitely pass the exam okay then number two she is probably at home she is probably at home so the word probably is a an adverb of certainty because it is telling us how sure someone is about this she being at home okay so it is saying she is probably at home then three they might possibly come late they might possibly come late then the word might possibly actually there are two here they are actually adverb of certain because they are telling us about when this person is going to be home so they are saying they might possibly come late i mean it is telling us how likely are they to be to to come late then he, then this one is saying mm, they might possibly come late so meaning is somehow sure or certain that they might possibly come later yeah come later not late okay so if you're enjoying once again i'm reminding you give this video a like and let me know in the comment section and for you guys in my group i hope you are really enjoying this english lessons because rarely you see these english lessons come like this so 
if you actually practice these things that you are learning here you can become a better person at um, uh, english written and also spoken because you'll be able to know how to use these words in your day-to-day -day english speaking all right so let's proceed so here number four we are saying i am certainly not going there i am certainly not going there so it's like this person is very sure okay that mm, going there she is not or he is not then he said mm -hmm, i am certainly not going there okay it's like someone tells you to say mm, my friend today i'm not going to school then you say mm, my friend how sure are you that you are not going home uh to school then he said mm, i am certainly not going there <laughs> meaning they've made up their mind they're very sure then the other type of um, adverb is interrogative adverbs okay so what do interrogative adverbs do we are saying these adverbs are used to ask questions about the manner time place degree or reason so yeah so these are interrogative adverbs okay so these adverbs are used to ask questions about the manner time place degree or reason so we are saying they usually come at the beginning of a sentence so like examples here where we are saying uh, like this question how did you do that okay how did you do that so the word how is an interrogative adverb because it is asking us like the manner in which something was done then like someone has just fixed a phone and then it is working it was not working then mm, you are surprised then you are now asking so that you know the manner then you say how did you do that okay yeah so how becomes an interrogative adverb then number two when are you leaving when are you leaving so this when is an uh, is used as um, an interrogative adverb it is trying to find out eh, about the time like when okay when are you leaving then number three where do you live where do you live so the word where is an interrogative adverb that is uh, used to ask you about the place okay where do you live okay so we move number four how much do you earn how much do you earn so how is a word that is trying to find out how much like the degree of the money that someone earns then next five why are you crying why are you crying so why is it an adverb or interrogative adverb which is trying to find out the reason the person is crying then you say why are you crying yeah so we have come to the end of the lesson so here is the task for you guys english lesson five task so like question one it is like this the the, the task here are multiple choice so they are easy for you guys to answer like look so they're saying what is the function of the of an adverb in a sentence so here it's multiple choice then b i mean two what type of adverb is used to modify an adjective or another adverb again these are multiple choice then here three what type of adverb is used to ask a question so you choose from here then here for what is the correct position of an adverb of manner in a sentence again you choose from here then here five what is the correct position of an adverb of frequency in a sentence again you choose from here six what is the correct position of an adverb of time in a sentence you choose from here then seven what is the correct position of an adverb of place in a sentence you choose from here so just like that so the question they are up to 20 so you need to submit the work form marking in the group yeah thank you very much for watching as for now, bye and see you in the next uh, lesson and please, peace.